somewhere in the year as we were processing if we were going to come or not, um, we lost a son at 35 weeks in throughout pregnancy. So anyway, um, we decided this would be a good spot for family time. So yeah, we just wanted something for family for healing. And One year, Julia had cancer and just kind of was unable to come and, and she was pregnant and had a high risk pregnancy. And uh, you know, Julia said, you have to go. And I really didn't want to go if she didn't go. We went anyway and I brought my dad along and it just showed our kids that it was that important. I know we always want to be here as a full family. Um, but she knew it was important that the kids get here um, and so she sacrificed for us uh, to go. That was a joy for my dad as well to see the fruit of a large family. I think another part of the fruit is, is our kids are all involved in the church, whether they're employed by the church, working for the church, or very uh, active in the church. So um, they're giving back. Um, for the future. I enjoy that every afternoon I can get into the Adoration Chapel. We live kind of in the middle of nowhere and so I, that's not easy for us to get to an Adoration Chapel. I love the confessions under the trees, um, you know, all afternoon. How easy can it be to, to get to confession for myself and, and all the kids? What made you guys become members? And there's a spirituality that runs this, otherwise it would be gone. Adopting the spiritual life and having help doing that, whether it's with a mentor, with its formation. We haven't found any other way. Fast forward, we're here 23 years. Just do it and uh, God will bless you with this.